Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. There was a time when I spent a lot of time fishing off the anchor, but uh, in recent years, I spend a ton of time trolling, usually trolling from my Hobie kayak, or I'm drifting. Now, when I'm drifting in salt water, I use a standard, you know, Bay Area drifting rig, a three-way swivel, a little dropper for your weight, a longer leader where you put on usually a live anchovy or maybe a gulp, a good sized gulp grub. That's about it. In fresh water, we use a little bit different rig. And you should know how to tie this rig because it's, it's so versatile. This is the rig that river striper guys use when they're fishing live minnows or even cut baits. It's the same basic rig that steelhead guys use, salmon guys use. I use it when I'm drifting for trout. Um, it's just something that should be in your repertoire. Um, it's great if you're going to go to a lake like Oroville and Mooch for Kings, you'll want to use this rig. If you want to go to Collins Lake and take a break from trolling and drift around with some power bait or maybe a gulp worm, put it out there. Or better yet, a gulp minnow. Um, this is a rig you need to be able to tie and utilize. So what I've got here, I just grabbed one of my, this one of my cousin's tackle rods and I'll just kind of walk you through this rig. Um, from the from the swivel down to the hook and of course if you're using it for trout you'll be using one size leader on a smaller hook if you're using it say minnow fishing up at Calusa fishing for stripers you're gonna upsize everything and finally if you're going for you know big old king salmon in the Sacramento River and you're gonna tip this thing with row you're gonna you're gonna you know match your hook and the size of your leader accordingly so here we go from top down get close to the camera here See that weight hanging there? What I do, this is braided line coming down from the reel. Take a snap swivel, put it on the line. Just put your line right through the snap swivel. That's where your weight is gonna attach. But as you can see, you got that sliding sinker action. Next, I put on a bead. I like to use beads, protect your knot and whatnot, but not absolutely necessary, but I like to use a bead. So there's your bead right there. Then you tie on tie on a snap swivel and then this is where your leader connects and my leader I just tie a double overhand loop knot in there and I take that down this one here is probably about 36 inches long this one is set up for striper fishing that is a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader and I've got it tipped with kind of a medium size um, octopus hook I believe that is an eagle claw laser sharp um, for the money they're phenomenal hooks, super strong, super sharp. You're not going to break the bank on them. Now, if I was going for, you know, tuna or something like that, spend the money on those super premium hooks. But day in, day out, most of the time, those Eagle Claw Laser sharp, Sharps are going to get the job done for you. So, anyway, that is your basic freshwater drifting rig. I could pin a gulp minnow on this right now and go over to Folsom Lake and catch both bass and trout on it. Um, we could go up to Calusa or up in the river, pin a live minnow on there and catch stripers on it. Um, just about anything. So it's a very basic rig. It's basically a sliding sinker rig and uh, probably most utilized by steelhead anglers. Those are the guys that first taught me how to tie this rig. But now I see everybody doing it. I see a lot of the, the striper guys doing it. Of course, most of those striper guys, they target steelhead and salmon in the fall. So anyway, freshwater drifting rig. Play around with it. Learn to use it. You won't regret it. You need to be able to use that rig. At times when you don't want to troll, you don't want to anchor, you want to get your drift on, that's the rig you want to have on the end of your line. This is Cal Kellogg signing off. I'll catch you next time. And please feel free to hit that subscribe button down there. And thanks for supporting my channel.